So in this video, we're going to talk about what are those key skills in the uh, in 2030, according to the World Economic Forum. These are going to be the skills that can't be replaced by AI in a modern world. And I'm going to show you how they exactly align to the architectural world. Wow, the World Economic Forum just released its uh, Future of Jobs 2025 report and Core Skills in 2030 report inside of that. And wow, it's like they wrote a cloud architect job description or an enterprise architect job description or a security architect job description. And they basically showed what I've been saying all along. While the cloud architect, enterprise architect, security architect, AI architect, sales executive, tech leadership and sales engineers can't be replaced by AI because it describes the skills of the future, which coincidentally are exactly mapped to all the skills for the most part an architect would actually need, whether they be an enterprise architect or a cloud architect. So in this video, we're going to talk about what are those key skills in the, uh, in 2030, according to the World Economic Forum, these are going to be the skills that can't be replaced by AI in a modern world. And I'm going to show you how they exactly align to the architectural role. So the first thing I want you to understand is the skills in this report. And when you look through the World Economic Forum report, you can see the skills of the future in the upper right hand quadrant. Now, they involve things like analytical thinking, and I'm going to show you, Mac, in a minute, how that applies back to the cloud architect role, enterprise architect role, any architect role for that matter. Creative thinking, and I will show you how that maps back to an architect role. Systems thinking, and I will map that back to any architect role you like, like a security architect, cloud architect, enterprise architect. Leadership and social influence, which is a crucial component of the architect's role, and I'll explain how that is in a minute. AI and big data, technological literacy, talent management, and motivation and self-awareness. These are the skills of the future. And guess what? These are exactly the skills you need to possess to be any kind of an architect, like a cloud architect or enterprise architect. And here's the reason why. As architects, we're beginning to be constantly performing analytical thinking. Here's an example. So when we want to design an architecture, for example, we'll have option one, two, three, four, five, for example. None of them will be perfect, and each architectural choice we make will be better in some ways and worse in other ways. And it's going to take a deep analysis to evaluate the various trade-offs to be able to actually make a recommendation or a decision, depending on what kind of architectural role we're in. So we're not going to be able to design any kind of secure, scalable, uh, agile system if we don't have good, strong analytical thinking. Now, the next thing that an architect needs to know in their job is they really have to think creatively. There's not a time in my life as in any kind of an architect role where it wasn't all about creative thinking. We're constantly solving some kind of a business problem, constantly solving some kind of technology problem. None of the technology is built for exactly our needs. So we have to think very creatively to get that client to its end goal. So whether it's solving a business problem, whether it's solving a technology problem, we're going to have to get real creative and creative thinking is core to any architect role. Now, systems thinking is probably the biggest thing we need to think about as architects, uh, as a very common thing among physicians and attorneys as well, or any of these executive leadership roles like, in, like an architect. And systems thinking really means understanding what happens to the system by making a single change. If we make this change, how will that reverberate across the system? Kind of like throwing a rock in a pond and no notice how you'll see the, the initial bu bubble or wave and the wave will expand out. Well, we have to be able to understand the impact of any change, any change in the process, any change in the technology, anything, because we can't be just changing things if we don't understand what's going to happen. And architects will need that deep knowledge of system thinking to uh, understand the dependencies across the organization's technology, people, and key business processes. Now, the architect job is full of influence. Whether we're obtaining information from stakeholders, whether we're managing stakeholders and guiding stakeholders to the solution, whether we're guiding the C-suite towards a technology investment, we're constantly in a position where we have to lead a team, like an architecture team, 
and influence a decision maker. So architects have to have good executive leadership and ability to influence others. And uh, that's why these are really critical skills for the architect, but they're also all the critical skills and the core skills for 2030. Now, also, according to the World Economic Forum, AI and big data, well, yes, organizations globally are looking for people that understand AI and big data to enhance uh, innovation, to enhance productivity, what have you. So this is a great skill. I don't know any AI architect, cloud architect, enterprise architect, security architect, or honestly, any kind of architect at this point that's not working on some AI or big data project at some point or architectural design. Now, technological literacy, well, the architect has to know business literacy and technological literacy. I don't think I need to say any reason why a cloud architect might need to understand cloud technology or something to that effect. So obviously technological literacy, which is written all over the cloud architect, enterprise architect, security architect, sales engineer, even tech sales executive or tech leader. Now they mentioned talent management. Now in every architecture, you have to create your team. It could be 15 to 50 people. You're gonna be potentially creating uh, post sales teams after the fact. And in that case, you're gonna to need to understand some talent management on how to build teams, how to lead teams, how to manage change across an organization. So talent management is gonna be critical for every architect role. And of course, motivation and self-awareness because in an architect role, we're constantly having to look for certain things. We constantly have to be adaptable. We wanna go this way and all of a sudden a regulation changes and that's gonna affect our entire architecture. So that kind of adaptability is gonna be necessary for the architect role and it's also gonna be necessary for the future. So these are the skills for the future. And I want you to think, does your job align for this? Because some jobs uh, AI can do, and I don't want AI taking any of your jobs. I want you migrating to the roles that are great. So if we really think about, let's say an enterprise architect as an example, and I walked you through why all architects need these skills. For an enterprise architect, they're, in order to align people, processes, and technology, they're going to have to use all these skills we just talked about. If we want to create a future state architecture for the business, whether it be a future state business architecture or a future state technology architecture, we're going to have to think analytically with the information we have, and we're going to have to think about the entire system. And we're going to have, get, have to get creative to solve strategic business challenges. And we're constantly in today's world leveraging AI. And in order to use AI, we need good data, good data and quality data. We constantly need good talent, strong talent, the right talent, and of course, anything to design an organizational structure, a governance model, a roadmap, a process model, model for example, all follows every one of the skills that we just talked about. So being an architect, if you love it like me, you'll spend decades in that architect role. And if you want to do something else in the future, like maybe move into executive leadership, guess what? The, any of these architecture roles will train you in all those core skills that you will need for any of those big roles anyways. So these enterprise architect, cloud architect, AI architect jobs are basically a training ground of relevance for all the important skills that you'll need for most jobs of the future. If you'd like to become a cloud architect, an enterprise architect, an AI architect, a security architect, or any other architect, we have programs that will teach you the entire career, but we also run free webinars every single week. And in this webinar, we'll talk about what we do in these architecture roles, the skills you'll need in these architecture roles, how to be successful in these architecture roles, how to get hired in these roles. And they'll be on Zoom, these free architecture webinars, so you can ask me any questions you want in real time and I'll do anything I can to help you be successful in your architecture career. You can register for that webinar or any of those webinars in the description of our video. While you're in the description of the video, there'll be free guides on say how to become a cloud architect or free guides on how to become an AI architect or free guides on how to win your next tech interview. Sign up for them, they'll be emailed to you completely free and hopefully that will be a big help with you in your architecture or tech career. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like, uh, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell to be notified of new videos to assist you in your cloud architect, enterprise architect, security architect, or AI architect career. This is Mike Gibbs signing off for now, and I hope to see you in a future video. Take care.